Praxis and I wasn't sure really where to shoot the video today because I've been running around all over the place doing work in all sorts of different locations. I, I have not been outside though. Uh, I haven't been working outside other than taking boards out to cut them because it's just it's really cold out outside. It is not uh, raining today finally. It's, it only snowed a little this morning uh, but it it's really cold. It's like just a couple of degrees above uh, freezing and it's really windy, which the wind chill just makes it really uncomfortable to work outside. I could work out there. I have foam panels to do over on the western greenhouse back, but working with the foam panels while it's windy is just really difficult and it's slower. I, I, I take out a panel and have to yeah, hold it down with something, have a cinder block to hold it down so it blow away and everything. It would just make the whole process take a lot longer and you know why do that when in a couple of days the case here is that it's going to warm up and I'll be able to work out there and it won't be crazy windy and everything and I'll get that work done. Then, so I've been inside today. I have been going outside to use a saw to cut things, though we lost power about midway through the day, so I wasn't able to continue using the miter saw, but I've got a battery-powered uh, circular saw I've been using, and I've just been doing wall boards. Uh, this, when I started this morning, I think, you know, it was open from here up, and uh, there are walls all over the house that, uh, you know, a diminishing number that need uh, uh, boards cut for them. I've got a little list outside of, you know, the different uh, ones that I need. You know, one's like 38 and a quarter. Uh, I forget what these are, but there's another one on the other side that's 112 inches. There's a 79 inch one. Uh, and as I'm going through the boards, I'm just looking at the scrap and saying, okay, this amount of scrap would be good for this, this would be good for that. So I've just been using a lot of boards. The pile downstairs that was kind of dangerous, that was all stacked up down there, I've taken it down by maybe almost a foot or so. Uh, so, uh, you know, it feels good to be doing this stuff on here on the inside. I, I want to show the video here, though, because I've got a kind of an interesting feature here. I want to talk about it. There's an HDMI run, because uh, we think we're going to have a monitor here. Like, if you're going to watch a movie or something like that, or play a video game, this would be where the monitor will be. Uh, there's an HDMI run that goes from here, through the wall, down through there, and then comes out over here. Uh, through the wall right there. If you ever do something like that, uh, I think it's a good idea to make a little nook here because uh, you can mount a monitor on uh, the front of there. There's also uh, power here and there is a speaker cable in case we're ever at a stereo and there's like a center speaker. Uh, you know, we could uh, you know, hook it up that way. Now all the connections are all over here and they all just go to uh, you know this little cubby here. There's an electrical outlet down here and I could have uh, plug things in down there, but if you can run them to the wall and then just have the monitor right there and you don't have wires draping, you know, why why not do that? So that's what we did. Uh, if you ever do that though, uh, you should know that the HDMI cables, some of them are rated for in-wall use and some are not. Uh, I got one that was rated for in-wall use. I forget, it's like a code, it's like CP4. It, it might be totally different from that, but there's like some code that refers to whether the cable is appropriate for inner wall use and I found this one that is. When I uh, connected it to the back of this plate, I uh, put some electrical tape around it just to make sure it doesn't jiggle out over time. Uh, and uh, the plate that I got here, I, I chose that instead of just having it uh, come out of the wall like it's doing over here, I used a plate because as you uh, plug and unplug things, you know, it kind of wears them out over time. And I don't want the cable that's going through the wall to wear out over time. I want that one to last forever. So uh, that goes to this little plate uh, here and then this one will uh, be the cable that you unplug. And if that one ever wears out, you can remove that and then you can put a new one in. Over here, I, like I said, it just comes out of the wall there, but uh, I'm gonna be adding a little uh, uh, plate for that end as well. I just forgot to buy it when I was at uh, uh, the uh, hardware store. I bought one and kind of forgot you need two. So. That's it. I think it's kind of a cool idea so you don't have wires stretching across everywhere and uh, you know, I think it was worth the time put in, especially because my dad did most of the work. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.